We all know by now that short form video is vital if you wanna grow your brand online or become a thought leader in your space. But a lot of these thought leaders and entrepreneurs have teams full of video editors who can take all their content and turn it into these amazing masterpieces that you see on Instagram Reels and TikTok, etc. But what if you don't have a big team working behind you? What if you're the one who's editing your videos? You have to learn Adobe Premiere or you have to learn DaVinci Resolve or these complex video editing softwares and it takes a long time to do this. But what if I told you there's a secret weapon that anyone can jump into and start using right away to create beautiful short form videos? Not only am I going to show you that software, but I'm actually going to walk you through a process of editing a video in real time using the software. So let's dive in. All right, guys. So the secret software that video editors don't want you to know about is the one and only Descript. So if you haven't heard of Descript before, basically what it allows you to do is edit a video that feels like you are actually editing a Word document. And so essentially, instead of having to deal with Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or any of these fancy editors, you just import your project and then you can literally highlight and delete a text or a word on your screen and it will delete it from your video. You're also able to add things like captions and shapes and images and a lot of the things you're able to do in high profile editors, you're able to do in Descript. And so I thought, what better way to show you than actually edit one of my short form videos directly in Descript. So we're in Descript's interface right now. The, the app is actually open. It is a desktop based interface and so it does not live <clears throat> on a browser. You always have to open it on your desktop and I found good and bad about that. Sometimes it can run down your computer just a little bit if you have a slower processor and if you're running multiple things at the same time, it can be a little bit slow, but for the most part, it's a great software. And so the first thing we're going to do is to start any project. Once you have it named, obviously, you're just gonna drag and drop either your audio or your video in. And so I have a 40 some second video over here that I'm just gonna grab and drop into the canvas if I can actually get my computer. And now I'm gonna drag and drop this into the canvas. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna start uploading this video. And not only is it going to upload it, but it's going to transcribe it. And this is the power of Descript. It uses AI transcription. And so it's usually about yeah, 70 to 80% accurate. And I'll show you exactly how to go in and fix the places where it's not accurate. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a second to upload and transcribe, and then I will be right back. All right, so Descript is through uploading and transcribing, and you can see now what our canvas looks like. We just have our two paragraphs here and then our video on the right. So I'm not gonna give you a complete rundown of the entire software of Descript, but you'll be working a lot in this canvas, and so I'm gonna point out a couple key things that uh, you'll wanna know for sure. So this right here is your editing canvas in terms of your visual editor, and so, you can see anytime I highlight over one of these words, it will become gray in the background. That means I'm editing that specific word. And so to actually click and edit on it, all you have to do is click the word and hit E, and then it's going to actually open up this word and you can correct it. So if it's the wrong word or if it has a, a punctuation error, or if it's like a name and it's a misspelling, you can correct it and it will not change your audio. It will just change the output and the transcription. Okay, so that's really key to understand. The audio will stay the same unless you delete it. Then it will just be completely deleted. Okay, so this is your visual editor. Over here is your actual video area. And so if you wanted to resize this, you could come up here and click video settings. I'm using a nine by 16 orientation because it's a vertical video. But if you're working with a horizontal video, you'd obviously wanna to go to landscape or you could change it to a one by one for a Facebook or a LinkedIn application. Um, a couple other important areas, obviously down here is your track. And so just like any editor, you can kind of zoom in and zoom out. And there are a couple features down here that I'm not gonna go through today because I'm not actually gonna need to use them. I will be doing a more detailed in-depth review of Descript later on, but for now I wanna just do this video. All right, and then lastly, this over here, anytime you're on a certain element, you can change the settings over here. So if I, you know, once we add our captions in, I'll be able to change them over here. I can add, I can change the size and the layout of my actual video if I wanted to zoom in or zoom out or I wanted to move it up or down. So you have a lot of options, okay? Primarily for this video, I wanna show you just how this works to quickly edit this. So you can see here that 
I'm the only speaker on this track. And so if there was multiple speakers, like an interview and me, I could name those speakers and then you would see each person's name running over here. But since it's just me, everything is coming from my voice. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna actually go into the text visual editor and I want to play and listen to the audio and make sure that it sounds and matches the transcription, all right? The first thing I like to do when I start my transcription is look for any of these underlying blue words. In Descript, these are filler words and Descript has an amazing feature where you can remove filler words automatically. You guys don't even understand. If you have a client or if you're someone that says, um, uh, like a lot, this will save you hours because literally all you have to do, you can see here on this short piece of content, I only had one set of filler words and where it says kind of. So I said, it kind of doesn't make any sense. So I wanna get rid of that. So I just say it doesn't make any sense. So when I click this, it's gonna open up and it's gonna identify. So when I right click, it's gonna identify that this is a filler word. And so I'm gonna just gonna click remove filler words. All right, and so this part's gonna pop up over here, and if there was more than one set of filler words, they would all be listed here, and you can literally click apply to all, and it will delete all of them instantly. All right, and so for mine, like I said, I only had one set of them, and so it deleted it right away, and so now I don't have to worry about those filler words. It will go down here and start to optimize your edit boundaries, and so if you delete like a bunch of things in your video, it's not gonna screw up the way that the audio is connected. And so Descript, like I said, amazing technology. It's super smart for the most part, but it saves you a ton of time to do things like that. Once you have your filler words deleted, then like I said, we're just gonna start and play this video. And then I'm just going to listen and make sure that the text matches the audio and the video and that it sounds proper, all right? So I'm gonna hit spacebar. So the first thing I can see is there's a gap because I started my video and then I didn't say anything for about four seconds. So all I gotta do is go down here to the track and I just gotta grab and move this over like this until it matches right where I start my audio. So now I'll go back up here. I'll click spacebar to play and spacebar stops as well. So spacebar. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. And so now I'm gonna enter so that this is on its own line. Each sentence is on its own line. I also wanna add some quotation marks. And so I'm gonna go up to I, and I'm gonna hit the E button. And then I'm just gonna put quotation marks. The E button is for edit. And I'm just gonna put quotation marks before the I. I'm gonna correct it. And then I'm gonna to go to content. I'm gonna hit E to edit. And I'm gonna put quotation marks around content. And so now in my video on my captions, it'll show it in like it's a quote. Okay, so that sentence looks good. I'll go to the next sentence at spacebar. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna add an emphasis on a couple things here. So now that, all right, I'm gonna hit this here. I think there's a shortcut. I think if you hold Q and then click, hold it one more time. Okay, so it doesn't capitalize the whole thing, but if you hold Q and then click, it'll capitalize the first letter. But I'm just gonna click, hit the E button, and I'm gonna change this all to caps lock. So now it says, now that could truly be the case. I emphasize that. And so down here, I'm gonna put, you probably do have time. So on do, I'm gonna hit E, and I'm gonna capitalize this, and then I'm gonna correct it. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna start playing my next sentence. And if you are not having clients. Okay, so I can see that this says class, but I actually say clients, so I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna hit E, and now I'm gonna type clients. And then I'm gonna type comma because I wasn't done with that sentence. So I'm gonna correct this, and then I'm gonna bring this bottom sentence here back up. So if you do have clients, so I'm gonna start playing again. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna enter a new line, keep going. And so if you don't have any clients, you should be spending 80 to 90% of your time doing marketing, doing outbound, doing content creation, because that's the only way you're actually going to get clients. All right, perfect. So then my audio looks good now. I corrected it in a couple places. Everything looks the way that it should, except for this end here. I see there's extra time, and so all I have to do is just drag this back like this. So that matches up. Now, 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually go up and I'm gonna start adding my captions into my video, all right? And so in order to do that, you just have to make sure that you're adding the captions to your entire canvas and not just like one chunk. Because in Descript, if I wanted to add a certain color of captions to the first sentence, I could add them there, then I could add more captions here, and then more captions here, and they could all be different if that's what I wanted to do. In this case, I wanna keep all the captions the same, and so I'm gonna make my entire canvas, I'm gonna select the entire canvas, so I'm just gonna click on one of these chunks, I'm gonna hit Command A, that selects everything in my canvas, and now I'm gonna go up to this little plus button here, and I'm gonna add what's called fancy captions. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna scroll down until I find fancy captions and I'm gonna click add. Okay, and what that's gonna do immediately is it's gonna add the default style of captions or the last type of style that you use based on if you've used it or not. You cannot have templates in the script, which is one of the, the drawbacks of it, but I think they're getting to the point where they can. So you can literally create, what they wanna do is you can create your type of favorite template and then use it for each of your videos. But for now, you actually have to go in and change things. It'll just pull in the last thing that you used. So you can see I put my captions here and on the right hand side, I get to control what I want it to look like now. If I wanna change my font, all I have to do is go in here. I have a specific font that I like and it's called O Opti Alpine Bold Italic. You can see that Opti Alpine Bold Italic is grayed out because it's a custom font that I've uploaded in. Another drawback of Descript is it only adds the font, you have to add it each time. Like I don't have to manually add it, but anytime I wanna use Opti Alpine, I have to actually click on it and then it'll download it into my project and then I can start using it. So it takes like, five extra seconds, but I think they should just add that feature directly in. So now you can see that it changed my font from Roboto to Opti Alpine Italic, all right? And so now I have a couple different features that I can use in terms of my, my fonts and my captions. So my fill color, obviously I can change that. If I wanna change that to you know an orange, I can do that. Or if I wanna leave it white, I just keep it there. And then, Next thing is really cool that I think Descript is probably the only software out there right now to have this is word level animation. So if I turn this on, now I can get an actual box that's going to scroll and actually highlight each word that I'm saying. I'll give you a quick look at how that looks here. So I'll just play it from the beginning. So I actually really like that. I like that it matches our snacked brand colors. It's the nice, you know, it has a different color for the active word versus the other words. And it, it's very nice, I think, on the eye. It's not too much. Now, when you're doing captions, I'd make sure that you set your captions to the size where they're only like four to six words at a time maximum. You don't want to overdo it, but you don't also don't want to underdo it. You don't want it to be changing every single time. All right, the other options I have for my captions down here is I can add like a stroke color, I can add a background color. So if I wanted the whole background to be highlighted, I could do that. And then obviously I have my shadow on, which is giving me that nice black background or shadow of my words. All right, and so I like the way that that looks right now. There's not much else I need to do, and so I'm just gonna play this back one time and make sure that everything looks good, and then we will be good to go to export this. All right, so play. So I see right here that I wanna change not, I wanna emphasize this. So I'm gonna add the same thing I did before. Correct, and then I keep going. All right, that looks phenomenal. So once I'm done there, I've gone through, I've made sure that the text matches up and made sure my captions look nice. And now I'm actually going to export the video. And Descript makes this really simple. And so all I have to do is go up here to share. 
I click on share. You have a couple options here. And so you can actually go into export and you can direct, you can directly export to YouTube. You can actually export this as an audiogram, which obviously you wouldn't want to do if you have the video, but if you just had audio, you could literally pull the audio in and it would turn it into a visual audiogram. You have all these different options. You can even bring it over into Premiere or Final Cut Pro, and then you can add more onto it if you want to. But all I want to do is just export it as a video. So I'm going to click video. I'm going to make sure this says current composition because that's the entire thing. Make sure my settings are right, 1080 by 1920, and then I can export, and then it'll ask me where I want to put it, just like any export will do. And then it's going to upload it, and it's going, or it's going to download it, and it's going to save it to my drive, and then we'll be able to just own this and then put it wherever we want. So I'm just going to save this here. I'm going to download it, and then I'll come back and show you the final product, and then you can get on your way doing your own videos on Descript. One of my favorite comments from people is, I don't have time to create content. Now, that could truly be the case, but with most people, unless your calendar and your schedule is filled with fulfillment for your clients, more than likely you probably do have time to create content. And if you are not having clients, it doesn't make any sense for you not to create content because content is essentially your marketing. And so if you don't have any clients, you should be spending 80 to 90% of your time doing marketing, doing outbound, doing content creation, because that's the only way you're actually going to get clients.